Uh, hey, Sam, there's been a lot of talk at Virginia practice this week about uh, the clap and the fake clap uh, to get some kind of information pre-snap. What are the things that you as a veteran quarterback um, can kind of pick up on when you give that fake clap and the defense starts to move a little? Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not, every team's different. Um, you know, some teams will will give away what they're doing. Some teams um, just kind of sit there until they actually um, see me clap. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of do my thing. Um, you know, I study some film, try to see uh, what's going to get the defense. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's different every week. And if I could follow up, as you've gotten older in your career, how much more can you see pre-snap than maybe, you know, your first year? Yeah, I feel like I can see a lot more. I, I mean, I think I just have a way better understanding of the game and how defenses are trying to attack us uh, than I did in my first two years. Um, so that's some that I spent a lot of time in the offseason just trying to expand my knowledge on the defense side of the ball. And I think it only it only helps me preach that. Thank you. Melissa Ray. So were you aware that this was called the South's oldest rivalry before you got here? And what have you learned about it since you've been in Chapel Hill? Yeah, honestly, I, I found out about it when uh, when I got here my freshman year and we played them. That's probably the first time I heard it, honestly. Um, but no, it is super cool um, to be a part of something like that um, with two great universities, um, two good football teams. So it's definitely going to be a fun one on Saturday night. The past two have gone down to the wire. What can you take away from those games and how much does that fire up you guys? I mean, just knowing how close these were the past two years. Yeah, we've we've come up short uh, the past two years, but, you know, I think what we learned is they're a good football team and they're going to fight to the end. Uh, you know, they're, they got a lot of really good players, and they, and they play really hard from start to finish. Um, so we got to be able to sustain uh, a full game and just play consistently. See you, Brown. Sam, I was I was curious uh, before I ask football question. What's what's up with your shirt? What's what's the actual football part say? It's kind of blocked by the mic. Yeah, it says zip them. It's actually Emory Simmons. Uh, Emory Simmons T-shirt. Uh, so we got t-shirts made. His, his nickname is Zip because uh, he wears number zero. Um, that's kind of his his brand brand deal is Zip him. Um, so I bought one of his shirts. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and I, I wanted to ask about kind of the RPOs. I was asking Ty Chandler earlier. How, how do you guys kind of get on the same page? Is it just a matter of repetition or do you literally have to kind of talk your way through sometimes like, what you see, what he sees, and and when you might hand off and when you might pull it back to throw or, or run it yourself? Yeah, I mean, really, it's it's not as complicated as you think. Um, you know, the running backs just kind of do their job, and, and if I want to pull it and throw it, then that's my job to, to initiate that. Um, the running backs just expecting the ball on every single play. Um, and if I see an RPO open, if I see the right the right read I'm looking for, then, then I'll pull it and throw it. But the running back, the running back really has no clue um, – if I'm going to throw it or, or give it to him. Thank you. Gregory Hall, go ahead. Sam, has you has Virginia worked out of its 3-3 scheme more this year than the past two years, or 3-3-5? And if so, how does that change what they do defensively? Yeah, you know, they have changed a little bit on defense. Uh, you know, they like the 3-3-5 the stuff, like you said. They, they started doing more of the three safety type stuff, um, which – which is really, which is really good. Uh, I think I think the defense coordinator does a really good job. So, you know, it's something you don't see all the time. Um, it's different. Um, it's something that people only started doing a couple of years ago, and not many teams do it. Um, so, I mean, we'll have a great plan. You know, Coach Longo, he works really hard on the game plan, and we feel really confident confident in in his plan for us. So, we feel really good going into the game. Thank you, Adam Smith. Go ahead. Hey, Sam, um, just wondering, I know you, you spoke last year about um, the process of trying to get better at sliding or learning how to slide or because you, you said like in high school, you just really didn't do that. You just overpowered people. Is that something you're still trying to work on? And it seems like the coaches, is somebody in your ear more particular than others about sliding more? Do you hear about that a lot? No, I definitely hear about it. Um, probably every time I run the ball. Um <clears throat> Every time I come to the sideline, side they're telling me to slide. Um, but, you know, it's just something that's its really not instinctive for me yet um, to slide. Um, so it needs to be instinctive. Uh, you know, I try to, like, 
you try to practice it, but you can't really practice it unless you're in a game scenario. Um, but no, I, I do think that's one area where I can really improve is just doing a better job protecting myself. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just a competitor. I like to run the ball. I don't like to slide. I feel like I, I have some type of a chance to to get to get an extra yard or two. So I like to do that for my team. But you know, I think it, it is something I need to work on, doing a better job of protecting myself. After the after Saturday night was over and you had broke off the uh, the 62 yard run, uh, what was the best thing you heard from like somebody that was like congratulating you or texting you or whatever? Like, what's what what was the best or most surprising thing you heard? The reaction. Honestly, I was a little disappointed at how like surprised everybody was. You know, everyone acted so surprised, and it was a little disappointing because, you know, I mean, I, I I didn't run well my first year here. I ran, I think, I ran the ball pretty well last year. And I've shown, I think I've shown a little bit of ability, um, you know, so I was, I was just surprised and a little disappointed of how surprised everyone was that I actually ran a touchdown over five yards, you know. Thank you. All right, over to JB Ricks. Hey, what's going on, Sam? Appreciate you taking out the time. Uh, I got two questions for you. The first one, um, what are your thoughts about leading the team in rushing, um, win or lose, when you want to have a balanced offense, what are your thoughts about you finishing the game, leading the team in rushing? Yeah, honestly, I haven't really thought a whole lot about it. Um, you know, the way our offense is built is on any given night, anyone can have a big night. Um, you know, especially in the running game, I could have a big night. Running back could have a big night. We both could have a big night. Um, you know, sometimes running backs might not – we might not have any – big night from a rushing standpoint. We'll have a big night in the passing game. So it's just the way our offense is kind of built is just take what the defense gives us. Um, and we all know from like a skill position uh, mindset on offense, it could be anybody's night. Um, so that's just kind of our mindset on offense. Got you, got you. Um, and uh, second question, just pretty generic as far as the feel for the team and the sense of urgency that you guys have to have going against Virginia, knowing you don't want to start 0-2 in ACC play. Ha has that been talked about at all this week in practice? And what are you sensing from your teammates off that? Yeah, I mean, we don't really talk about starting off 0-2 in ACC play. We just talk about doing everything the right way and preparing the right way. Um, we prepare like every other week uh, for this game. You know, we treat every game like it's the most important game of the year because uh, reality, the most important game is the next one. Um, so that's just kind of how we treat it. I know I'm, I'm proud of the way our guys have been preparing for, for our games. I think um, after that loss week one, I think everyone kind of had a reality check, and I think they really focused in on their preparation. Uh, I think that showed on Saturday night, and we got to have a really good week of prep preparation to give ourselves a chance on Saturday. Appreciate you. Okay, we've got time for two more. Ross Martin, go ahead. Hey, Sam. How would you evaluate your acting performance in the SOS roofing commercial? If you could step back and just be like a Hollywood acting critic. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I thought, well, I really thought the other guys did a really good job. Uh, you know, that's not something I'm too comfortable with yet, but, you know, we had a lot of fun with it. I mean, I'm just super thankful for the opportunity um, from SOS roofing for, for giving me that opportunity. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I'm, I was happy they gave me the opportunity to kind of include some of my teammates in as well. Um, so, I, I mean, I think we all did a pretty good job, I would say. I think it turned out a lot better than people kind of would have thought. Is there anything you can tell us about how the finances work with, with getting your teammates involved? And you had like four, five, six in that, in that spot. You had a bunch of your, in your Bojangles spot as well. Yeah, so really it comes down to um, on our side, we try to, try to encourage them to let us um, get as many teammates in there as possible. And then it just comes down to me taking more of a pay cut and d dividing the money up um, more with my teammates that get involved. Okay. Thanks, man. All right. We'll close out with uh, Noah Starowski. Go ahead, Noah. Hey, Sam. Uh, Coach Longo mentioned the other day how you were more of a, a, a dual threat, a quarterback in high school. Um, are you enjoying now being able to run the ball more in the offense than you have been the first uh, two years? Yeah, you know, I, I, do, I do love running the ball. It's something I did a lot in high school and in middle school. Um, I, I really don't think I was prepared to do it my first two years, um, especially not my first year. Uh, I just wasn't in the right shape from a physical standpoint. Uh, you know, I feel like that's one area where I've really improved, and I just credit Coach Hess. He's done a lot of things to help me get more mobile. Um, and I just feel a lot more comfortable running the football now, and, you know, I'm just trying to display that a little bit and just trying to 
really just trying to do anything that helps help helps his offense get better. Uh, you know, because my mentality is I want to do anything I can to help this team win football games. I'm not worried about all the other stuff. All the other stuff people talk about. I just want to do everything I can to give my team the best chance to win. Yeah, thank you. All right, Sam. Thanks for uh, joining us this evening. Sure, guys.